you may be facing the possibility of having to claim for universal credit for the first time. And in this video, we wanna do a simple explanation of how it works and what you need to know. So what is universal credit in simple terms? Universal credit is the UK's payment support system for those considered financially vulnerable. You're eligible to receive universal credit if you are out of work or on a low income. And before we go into who is eligible in more detail and how much you'll get, etc., let's first of all clarify what is considered as low income. In the UK, it is the total household income, which is the key number when it comes to what is considered as low income. And what is considered low income are households with less than 60% of the UK's median household income. Median, in other words, being the UK average. So this is where it can start to get complicated. So I'm gonna do my best to keep things simple. Now for starters, if you have a household with two adults and two children, the eligible income of what you'll be calculated for under universal credit could be different from a household with one adult and three children. Without getting into exact maths of each possible scenario, we've got some helpful website links with calculations to simplify things in the comments below. But let's be frank, you're probably watching this video to try and work out at least roughly what you're probably gonna get if you were to use universal credit. So let's give you the rough estimation so at least you have ballpark figures. Well, roughly it's broken into four categories. If you're single and you're under 25 and you're out of work, you get 342 pounds and 72 pence. If you're single and over 25 and out of work, you get 409 pounds 89 pence. If you're a couple who are both under 25 and both out of work, you get 488 pounds 59 pence as a combined monthly income. And if you're a couple who are both over 25, both out of work, you get 594 pounds and four pence as a combined household income. But you'll also get more money on top if you have children. One child is either £281.25 or £235.83, the lesser if they were born after the 6th of April 2017. And for each other child over that, it's £235.83. Now, universal credit won't just encompass household income. There'll be a bunch of other bolt-ons on top. Universal credit, rather than being broken into separate job seekers allowance, etc., and different various supplementary benefits, universal credit is basically the holding of all of these categories in one. Universal credit is more a generalization, but there is set universal credit that you're applying for. And the difference between this traditional furlough scheme, if you want to know more about that, we did a previous video just there, is that the furlough scheme is basically something that your employer would be applying for. You can't apply for it yourself. The difference between universal credit and the furlough scheme is that under universal credit, you're the one that can apply for it. You could also get more income for the following. If you have a disabled child, it's up to £400.29. If you need help with childcare costs, that's up to £646.35 for one child or £1,108.04 for two or more children. You can also claim for disabilities to yourself or other adults in the household too. Now in this video, I don't want to go too much into the details of how universal credit works with regards to disability benefit for two reasons. The first reason being if you already had a disability that was severe enough to be eligible for a sizable payout or even a payout under disability benefits in universal credit, then you'd have probably already have sought advice about this, know all about it, and therefore, why would you be watching this video? And secondly, because the range of what you'll be eligible for under disability benefit for universal credit can be quite broad. Without knowing your individual circumstances and not being a disability assessor myself, it would be too difficult to be able to even advise you remotely what you'd be eligible for. But let's say you've got let go from your job, you've got rent or mortgage payments and need to make sure they're paid. So to answer this generalized question, Let's say you have a partner and two children, for instance, and none of you have any disabilities, and your house has three bedrooms, and you're both out of work. In this instance, you're basically entitled to £1,065.70 per month on these calculations. Now, the average UK salary is £29,400. So to put it into simple context, this household that had two adults and two children, if those two adults found themselves out of work for an entire year, under universal credit, they would only be eligible to claim for £12,788.40 in an entire year. You'd have to live on that. £12,788.40 a year. 
No, that is right. Anyway, now you might be thinking, what about job seekers allowance or employment support allowance, for example? Well, Universal Credit incorporates all of those under one umbrella term. So if you're expecting a massive extra amount or a separate payment, it doesn't really work that way. Now, one thing that Universal Credit might come to you with to help you out is what's called a budget advance loan. But I wanna give you a little bit of a warning on this because this may sound helpful when you're in a situation of, right, I've gone from whatever I was earning before to just under £13,000 a year. I need some income, what do I do, help me out. But you've gotta pay that loan back probably out of the income you're gonna be having from Universal Credit. If you couldn't survive on £12,788.40 and you've gotta pay back a loan to them during this period, trust me, it's gonna be hard. Now, at the time of filming this video, we are in the middle of the UK lockdown due to the pandemic. So you're probably gonna be faced with the prospect of having to do it yourself, and therefore how you would do it on your computer and what you'd need to do in the safety of your own home. So this video is also gonna explain how that works and show you some images of it. So you're gonna need a few things before you start trying to make an application. You're gonna need your bank account details, you're gonna need an email for contact, you're gonna need a telephone number to give them, you're gonna need to be prepared to disclose your rental or mortgage details and have statements to prove what those figures are. You're gonna need your last three months worth of pay slips. You're gonna need proof of any savings you have and how much those are. If you are planning on claiming for childcare bills, you're gonna need statements and proof of how much you've paid for these. For proofs of identity, you can have a passport or a driving license, or if you don't have a passport or a driving license, you can use your debit card as proof of ID. At the point of filming, this is the website link you need to be able to go and make a claim. Now, when you start to make your claim, if you haven't already, you need to set up an account with Universal Credit. This account itself is just basically gonna be a username and password. Now, dependent on when you are viewing this video, you'll either receive a pretty instant confirmation of your account and then be able to make your application, or it could be the case that you'll have to wait either for a later email or even a letter through the post giving you further login details. Now, once you actually start the application process, you're gonna go through various screens. They're gonna ask you a number of detailed questions. These questions themselves are basically used to, to formulate an assessment on you and therefore be able to give a calculation of what you'll be eligible for under Universal Credit. Now, my best advice when filling out the application for Universal Credit is to try and be as honest as you can. In a video like this, it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna advise that. I wouldn't advise anything otherwise, but you do bear in mind that if you do find yourself tempted to embellish or over-exaggerate certain points, that could land you in some hot water. Not only are assessments based digitally, and therefore all of the information they need to prove what is accurate and what isn't can be found online, on a more serious basis, this can be considered as benefit fraud. Now, after you've completed and submitted your application for Universal Credit, you're gonna receive a phone call. Now this phone call may be received within the same day, later in that day, for example, or later in the week, but it's gonna come from an assessment advisor. The purpose of the phone call itself is not to give you a figure of what you're gonna be entitled to, but to clarify certain points from your application or to ask you additional questions in order to better assess your claim. Once the call has been finished, your application process will then be reviewed. You may receive the details back in the same day, but most likely it's probably gonna be a few days until you get confirmation back of what you're gonna be receiving. Now we've tried to cover the main points of Universal Credit in this video, but you may have some other questions. So if you do, put them in the comments below and we'll do our very best to try and answer them for you. Now, if you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you won't miss any one of our forthcoming videos.